a little Both down in, thing. Or just bring them out a little more. <laughs> we need to clean those glasses. Some time with the top this chair. There we go. Hi Canada. Ah. Hi Canada. Hi Canada. Hi, we Canada. are here with FirstWeekendClub.ca and Richard Glenlett. Hello. Who is the subject, and do I say star, of Never Be Done, the Richard Glenlett story. Yeah, I want to just say that it, it's extremely brave and I'm extremely moved by your whole journey and the whole experience. And I've known you for a few years now, mm -hmm. and but on the other side of your sobriety journey, yes. you're yes. showcasing this at a comedy festival well, no, uh, in front of your peers, in front of comedians. How is mm -hmm. this for you? <laughs> I think well, it's an oddly perfect venue. I think so too. I think that... Um, you know, I'm not the only one, obviously, in comedy that, that struggles with um, addiction or, you know, or with struggles in recovery. I mean, recovery is a, a, a daily um, task, a grind that, you know, we, we have to do. I think that we've lost enough of our, you know, sweetest and best comedians to addiction that... Um, and artists, artists at large. Absolutely. That it's time for, you know to be discussed mm -hmm. and so I think the relevancy of a, a story about a journeyman headline club comic mm -hmm. almost uh, losing his life to addiction is um, like achingly relevant yeah. to what's going on I mean it's it, so important Richard it's just so important and I know a lot of people are very grateful for this I know there wasn't a dry eye in the house at the Whistler Film Festival <laughs> yes um, the, the the reviewer from the Vancouver Sun said to me, you know, like you are, like, this is the first 40 minutes of this film, you are very unlikable. <laughs> and you're like, it's kind of gross. I said, well, addiction is gross. Yeah. And, um, you know, and that's, the, I think, what's really useful about the film is that, that once you can see, you know, who I am without drinking and drugs, without that, that pain and that mental illness, you go, well, this person was worth saving. So many times we get to people that are so far gone that we go like, maybe it's just best that we just let that one go. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of the way I felt about myself, that maybe, you know, I should just let this one go. But mm -hmm. there is a, a force that makes us, you know, come together and try and help each other. Yeah. And however you want to describe that force, that, you know, higher power, or God, or whatever it is that's outside of yourself that, that lets you know that, that you're loved and worth, you know, making that, that battle for. And, you know, things turn on a dime. In the film, there's a very powerful visual. These guys did a great job because film is a visual medium. And at one point, I'm raging, I can't, I've got a carport full of stuff, I've, you know, said some terrible things and I storm out of there and I stamp on this cord and the door opens up, the garage door opens mm -hmm. up and I walk into the light. Yeah. And that light is either the end or the beginning, right? Rebirth or death. Mm -hmm. And every addict has those moments and we just want to try as much as possible to let it be rebirth. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> now, and come to see, is that just for last festival, right? Yes, it is. Vancouver. So, the, you know, out of the blue, the Just for Last Festival said, this is a film that we want to close our film festival with. Bam. Um, so it's the closing film, uh, you know, February 20th at the Van City Theatre. And I think there's something afoot here that the Just for Last Festival is saying, we need our comedians to be recognized as people mm. who are worth being alive, not just mm -hmm. to make us laugh, mm -hmm. but just to be, you know, enjoy, you know, the sun and the rain and, and, and the moon and all that stuff, right? Comedians are people too, we're not just products. And that film, I think, really shows that, that they care. It's so integrative. It's so holistic and integrative. It's really, I don't know what that means, but my daughter would. My daughter, daughter would. Yes, that's right. Your it is holistic. holistic. It's transformative. It, it's it's awakening. Holistic. It's An assholistic gift brought to you by Richard Lett. We can't wait to share it That's with you right. all. Thank you, Thank First you. Weekend Club. Dot CA. <laughs> <laughs> it just wasn't enough of a plug for you.